this problem we have a ball that is hitting this bar which is about uh, which can rotate about O and we have a coefficient of restitution between the bar and the ball so first of all this is clearly an impact problem um, and um, conservation of momentum so what we're going to do is we are going to first um, run a conservation of linear momentum uh, between or of angular momentum um, between the two time points. So we're going to identify the two time points. So the first time point is when uh, the ball is right bef is right at bar A, but it's not hitting it yet. Okay. Um, so time point one. So when you have your bar and the ball is right there, right before. And then time point two is when you have your bar and the ball hits it. Okay? So that's going to be the naming convention. Okay? So we have conservation of angular momentum. So uh, HO1 um, is going to be equal to the sum of HO2. So again, this is about O, which is uh, the center over here. Um, and 1 means this time point, and this 2 means this time point, so after impact. Okay, uh, so let's write down the terms that each of um, these two sides of the equation has. So uh, H O one is going to be equal to, um, it's going to have a few terms. Well, we can have a few terms, but some of, most of them are going to cancel in this case. Um, because in this case, um, before this ball hits this bar, this bar doesn't rotate and doesn't translate at all. Okay, the only thing that's moving is this ball here, which is translating with a linear velocity. Okay, so we're only going to have a linear velocity term to that angular momentum. Okay, and that will be the linear momentum times um, the radius. Okay, um, so we have uh, m, and this is of the ball. Uh, the velocity of the ball, the initial velocity of the ball, be b1. Um, times L over 2. Why L over 2? Because uh, the radius distance is this distance over here. Okay? Um, not the whole L. Um, and so we have linear momentum VB1 times the mass of the ball t times this radius, and that gives us angular momentum. Nothing else is moving, so that's the only term at uh, time 1. Then we have H no O times two, which is uh, angular momentum at time point two, so after the ball has collided with uh, the bar. And here we're going to have multiple terms because it's not just the ball moving, the ball keeps on moving. Well, it moves at a different velocity now, obviously. So it's going to have a different velocity, but it still has a linear velocity. But now this whole system starts to rotate, and that's going to um, add terms to our momentum. Okay, so first of all, let's add that rotation, add the translation of that ball. So we have the mass of the ball, mb, uh, vb, this time 2, because it's a different velocity. The ball doesn't retain its original velocity after the impact. And then again, times L over 2, because it's located at the same point. Um, but now we also have um, the inertia of the rod. Uh, times omega, and this is, I'm going to write omega 2, but this is the only omega involved. This is the only angular velocity involved because it's zero at the beginning. Okay, and so this is, um, these are our two sides of the equation. Okay, and if we equate them, we get the following equation. Uh, MBVB1 L over 2 is equal to uh, m b v b 2 l over 2 plus i rod which we're going to substitute substitute in uh, which is going to be equal 1 12th uh, m l squared times omega 2 okay 
so now here um, we have a few of these terms. So this term here we have because we're given dB1 and we're given the mass and the length. Okay. Now we don't know the second vo the velocity of the ball at 10.2, which is right after the impact. But there's a way to find that. Um, and we are obviously trying to solve for omega 2, um, so that that's our unknown. Okay. Um, now how do we get this second velocity or, or the velocity after the impact? Well, we're given a co coefficient um, of restitution here, and so we can use that to find um, the linear velocity of the ball after impact. So the coefficient of restitution e is equal to v a two minus v b two over v b one minus v a one. Okay. So in this case, um, we know that this term here, v a one, is zero because the bar does not uh, move initially. And V A two is gonna be a function, it, well, V B one we're given, it's just three meters per second. Um, and then, so this leaves us the equation in terms of V A two and V B two, okay? But V A two, we can relate in terms of omega two, okay? So we can, this leads us to the following equation. The coefficient of restitution is 0 0.8 um, is equal to VA2. VA2 is also equal to omega times the radius. So omega 2 times L over 2. Okay? And then minus VB2 over VB1 minus 0. So VB1 we're given. So it's just essentially over VB1. Let me center that. Okay, so here we have all of these terms. So we can essentially solve for VB2 in terms of omega 2. And we can plug this equation into here. So we have this whole equation in terms of omega 2, and we can solve for omega 2. Okay, so solving this equation, we get the following. Per second, which is equal to, um, sorry, EV2 is 0 0.8 times 3 meters per second, um, negative plus um, omega 2 L over 2. Okay, and this is L here. And we can plug that into the above equation. So we have MB1 VB1 L over 2 equals to MB VB2 which is equal to negative uh, 0 0.8 times 3 meters per second plus omega 2 times L over 2 um, plus uh, times L over 2 again plus 1 twelfth M L squared omega 2. Now we can um, plug in all the values and isolate for omega 2 um, and we get the following. So mb1, so that's the mass of the ball, um, that um, is equal to six, 0 0.16 kilograms. Uh, then we have a vb1 which is 3 meters per second times L which is 2 meters over 2 is equal to the mass of the ball, 0 0.16 kilograms times 0 0.8 times 3 meters per second plus omega 2 times 2 meters over 2 times 2 meters over 2 um, plus plus one twelfth m, and this is the m of the 
uh, bar, so MA, um, which is um, one kilogram times uh, the length of the bar, which is two meters, and this is squared, times omega two. Okay, now again, as I mentioned, this is an equation in terms of omega two, and if you isolate and solve for omega two, you get that omega two is equal to 1.75 radians per second. And this is our final answer.